Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radar channel, and um, I've updated the firmware of the uh, Deep SDR 101. So um, there's, of course, a firmware update available on the uh, Deep Elec uh, website, and here's a page that I'm to. First of all, if you have one of those, they're extremely easy to update. It's simply uh, plugging in the USB cable to your PC and to the device. And then when you turn it on, you actually hold the uh, button on the right side. You hold the knob um, so that it actually, you press on the knob and hold it. Um, so it, it kind of changes the radio into a flash drive mode if you want. You download the firmware and you actually uh, copy the update file and um, on the uh, the device. Then you restart the device and it updates in a few seconds. So, um, of course, the update addresses some of the intro issues that I've been going crazy on, and it's nice to add um, if you have it. Uh, do update your uh, firmware because it's going to actually prevent you from pressing this knob a million times like you used to before. You will be able now to actually uh, put the volume higher just by pressing on the screen or even lower. Uh, once again on the screen, the volume range also has changed. So this is really, really cool. The other thing is you can now change the frequency by tapping on the screen on the right side so this is definitely cool because it makes it easier to scan through the frequencies all you have to do is set yourself at what range you know in one kilohertz and stuff like that and um, tune around so this is pretty cool uh, it adds also more flexibility to the attenuation still it ain't that great but it adds a little bit of, uh, of, of flexibility to the device. They changed the hardware AGC, the uh, automatic gain control, to software. It does sound better and it does sound less of a punch when you listen to, uh, to stations, especially single sideband stations. And uh, you now have, of course, also the ability to, uh, to test the screen if you want, like this. And press and you of course have the ability to um, check for details by pressing on the bottom middle uh, and you can see that I've updated my firmware to uh, version 1.0.1 which is the one that is now the latest it was actually issued in April of 2023 for the device so this is really cool that they've done that and it's particularly cool that it's easy to actually update because um, you know devices like the ATS 25 and so on man these things are just so complicated to find a way to update the firmware that uh, most people will never do it yet um, this one does uh, it is to note two things uh, Deep Elec does say that there are clones of the Deep STR 101 that you make sure not to get a clone because the clone will not re receive and will not accept the uh, firmware updates. And also, uh, the other thing is that this is version 1. This is discontinued. And they are working on version 2. I think it's going to be interesting to see. Hopefully, if they can address some of the flaws um, that this radio has, this could become a very nice device. A um, really nice portable SDR. So we'll see what time what happens, but uh, at least you know there are some great ideas in there, and it's nice to see that they actually make it easy for anyone to update the firmware of this device. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.